Now, two of the uh, sectors hardest hit by the impact of COVID-19 are aviation and mm. tourism. Uh, DPM Hing also outlined the support that will like, be extended to these sectors. The Changi Air Hub is an important pillar of our economy. The hub and its adjacent industries contribute over 5% of Singapore's GDP and employ approximately 192,000 people. It makes us an ideal Global Asia node where companies all over the world can access opportunities in Asia and companies in Asia can access opportunities around the world. For every local worker in employment, I will provide a total of 75% which, set, which offsets for the first $4,600 of monthly wage, wages. This will be paid in the same months as the main jobs support scheme payouts. This enhancement will cost the government more than $400 million. In addition, I will set aside $90 million to help the tourism industry rebound strongly when the time is right. On top of that, DPM Hing also introduced a $350 million enhanced aviation support package. This is to fund measures such as rebates on landing and parking charges and rental relief for airlines, ground handlers and cargo agents. Vikram, how critical it is to provide a sizable support for aviation and tourism sectors? Well, I think DPM set it out quite clearly. I mean, this is our lifeline to the world. I mean, this is where we get our essential supplies from. I mean, a lot of essential supplies, the fresh foods and things like that, for example. This is also the sector that supports a lot of our exports. For example, semiconductor exports are now shipped out by air. Uh, so this is absolutely critical to our economy, and to our, to our living, basically. Um, also, of course, enables people to come in and out easily. I mean, this is, uh, this is also, we are, we are not, and uh, we, we need connectivity to the world. And, Aviation provides it, and it's absolutely critical to also maintain uh, SIA, not only in, in terms of survival, but it, it must be remain robust. So it must not be in a state of collapse when this thing ends. It should be able to sort of, you know, do business as usual when things pick up again. So, and uh, of course, it's been hit uh, very badly. Uh, I think it was reported recently that uh, SIA salaries, some salaries are going down by 70%. I mean, to take wage cuts by 70%. People can't, people can't cope with that. So this kind of support is absolutely essential. As for tourism, yes, I mean, to tourism alone provides about four, four plus percent of GDP. Uh, but that's, I think, you know, that doesn't take into account the multiplier effects. I mean, there's also, I don't know what, I'm not sure what exactly is included in tourism, but you have FNB, you have retail, then tourists also get around on transport. So all these sectors would also be affected if tourism is affected. So I think it's absolutely essential to support that sector too, and that's also a front line sector. Mm. I think we can see, and it's quite undeniable, that uh, these two sectors are critical and they've been badly hit as well. Sing Woon, if I could ask, you know, how long uh, you reckon these sectors need to recover, seeing they are the hardest hit? Well, again, to put the dollar value on what Vikram was talking about uh, earlier, you know, last year tourism receipt or tourism revenue it amounts to something like $27 billion uh, itself. Now it just basically disappeared because of the travel restriction itself. So obviously significant help uh, has to be given out to all those parties involved because you suddenly have zero revenue growth for no fault of theirs uh, as well. So at this point really is essentially trying to see when this outbreak would peak, when will the high school healthcare crisis itself really resolve and obviously for us to rebound it is really about um, whether the confidence and to travel again whether it's for work and for business uh, come back uh, so how long it is really depends so obviously at this juncture we are trying to prepare for the worst uh, while hoping for the best itself which is why we've got minister heng saying that if we need to if the economic contraction were to be worse than expected itself, again, further uh, drawdown on past reserve uh, will be called upon uh, if needed too as well. So on that sense itself, if more need to be done, more will be done.
Mm. Now we can see, of course, a lot of efforts uh, on the part of Singapore, you know, to really help our economy, boost our economy, mm. and to make sure that we can manage the impact uh, of this uh, COVID-19. But Sengwon, uh, if you could just uh, comment as well, you know, how much of our recovery is reliant on the rest of the world getting its act together as well? Very much. I mean, again, we are a small, open economy where trade in goods and services is three times the size of our GDP. We are only a 5.7 million uh, people itself now without the tourists uh, traveling for, for work or for leisure uh, itself. So we really need global growth to rebound before we can essentially ride along that recovery. The plus side of being so integrated into the world is that when we have a global upswing, we will benefit substantially. The flip side, obviously, is that when we have a significant deterioration in external environment, we will feel the downside also magnified many times as well.